Joshua Brown was no stranger to police, convicted of crimes in at least five cities across Texas. He was arrested for drug possession, evading arrest, theft and having an illegal firearm. WFAA obtained court documents and a letter Brown wrote to a judge in Travis County in 2017. He asked to be released early after being arrested for drugs. He says, I am praying when that day comes and I am discharged that I can put the whole series of events behind me and start off on a clean path. But records show he continued a life of crime. Last year, he was shot at a strip club. A man with Brown was shot and killed but police believe he was the target. Attorney Lee Merritt represents Brown's family and now admits Brown was hesitant to testify in the Amber Geiger trial, not because of that case, but because people were after him. He led people to believe that he had left Dallas. And so testifying in trial says, no, I actually I'm here. And it exposes him to danger and he feared, he feared for his life testifying in this case, not because of the involvement of Amber Geiger, but because someone shot him less than a year ago. Police say over the weekend, Brown was killed during a drug deal. They say three men were robbing him of drugs. They say Brown pulled a weapon first and shot one of the suspects. And then another man shot Brown twice, killing him. Merritt now admits there is enough evidence supporting that, but says people won't believe it because he says DPD lacks credibility after the Geiger trial. But that evidence will always be undermined by the DPD implication in this case. WFAA obtained the search warrant of Brown's apartment, which shows not only was there 12 pounds of pot and four grand in cash, there were digital scales to weigh drugs. Multiple sources and even some of his acquaintances say Brown was a known drug dealer moving large quantities of drugs, and that's what got him in trouble. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez. What's up, guys? Your boy TOJ. I thought I was done for the day, but the video you just watched um it was a news clipping from wwd something something in dallas but the reason i linked it in this video was so you can hear it out of the lawyer's mouth i think this was joshua brown's very lawyer lee merritt who actually put up the hundred thousand dollar reward leading to the information for the arrest of his killer that was the actual guy um lee merritt esquire who put up the um re re reward money for his um killers to be arrested so let me say this i'm not pro-black and i'm not a coon and unfortunately for me i just give my opinion my honest unshakable opinion and opinions are like assholes everybody's got one but i'm an asshole with an opinion and unfortunately i'm an honest asshole i'm not gonna you know spin it and stay pro-black and say the white crack of devil set this man up because i want to get you know 800,000 subscribers saying the same dumb shit over and over again in the comments section i'm not a coon because honestly i'm not a sellout so youtube don't really know how to categorize me in the algorithm because i'm just an honest guy without a spin so i can't just lie to y'all i want to really bad so i can have like you know 8,000 views per video or some dumb shit like that but i got a a thing called integrity so i gotta look at myself in the mirror and people that know me personally kind of know i'm full of shit if they see me on the street because half the neighborhood know like you know my youtube channel so um the reason i decided to make this video tonight before i go to sleep or really shave and go to sleep um it's because me granola lady i can't pronounce her name uh granola lady uh brandon something the guy with the shoes for the uh his profile picture. I cannot think of this dude, but a lot of people in the comment section, we've gone back and forth and I can just, I can, I figure I can verbally say it as opposed to me just, um, you know, typing all night. I'm not typing all night. I don't get paid for this, but let me say this. The reason the story or the narrative that the, uh, Dallas PD is behind the assassination of this innocent young man is because the only way the story would make sense to me if the cops did it was if, it was Pulp Fiction style or Reservoir Dog style when he walked in a warehouse full of bloody people, gunshots everywhere, and, and just a convenient bag of dope right on the ground and 15 pounds of marijuana in his in his car. Something something so crazy to where only the cops could say, well, we can use ballistics and put all this shit together and ta-da, this is what happened. But mind you, Amber Geiger is a nobody. She a badge bunny. All she does is fuck dudes on the police force 
and wouldn't like her uncle was like, you know, Winston Rockefeller or some crazy shit like that, then maybe kind of sort of, I can eat the story of the idea of some kind of conspiracy because, you know, you fucked over or you got like a senator's or, you know, a Rockefeller's niece or something, you know, um, convicted for murder and a Rockefeller guy won't let that shit go down. But even then it would seem so blatant, like the Jeffrey Epstein case when Epstein was in a, was in jail Jeffrey Epstein was finna snitch on all those other pedophile billionaires and he conveniently hung himself after being on suicide watch. That's a motherfucking conspiracy for you. For those of you who want to figure out how a conspiracy worked, all the people Jeffrey Epstein stood to take down was like princes, um, world leaders, diplomats, former presidents, former ex president. I mean, just ex presidents, um, Hall, you know, like top level celebrities. So apparently, all these dudes combined had a net worth of over a, at least ten billion dollars. Oh yeah, he was gonna die in that prison cell, one way or the other, from uh, suicide or food poison or some kind of shit. So miss me with all that, you know, that other bullshit about this guy, Joshua Brown, being some kind of witness for the CIA, and he he had the inside scoop on. I don't know, something that white supremacy was scared of, and that you know only his silence would make them go to sleep easy at night. The dude own lawyer said he was hesitant to testify. I said the exact same thing, but I also got into like a slight tiff with another YouTuber when I said that if the police would have killed him before he testified, it would have looked even more suspicious. But now that I'm thinking long and hard about it, it kind of makes sense that they, they, they should have killed his ass before he testified. But he was such, him and Amber Geiger's situation was so like, not really a bother. They didn't do it. So, you know, the, the, he, with somebody trying to kill him, uh, you know, uh, last year, it would make sense for this guy to be scared to um, show his face in, you know, in Dallas, you know, because he had a, not a really a hit on him, but like his, his own lawyer said it. They got niggas after me. Dudes do this shit all the time. Take my word. I'm a like, I, I like worship the mafia. I got like Buku Mafia documentaries in my um, computer pre-saved. And I know this for a fact. Dominic Cielo from, um, what his name is, uh, Santo Traficante in Florida when they did all that shit and killed uh, the guy in Texas, uh, John F. J. F. Kennedy. And the guy down here, um, John F. Kennedy, and the, and the guy down here in New Orleans, um, Carlos Marcelo, all of them guys was behind that. But the history of why they did it made logical sense. So I can eat the fact that maybe the mafia had something to do with the assassination of a president. Now, this guy right here, I'm telling you what the fuck I know. This this guy didn't have any dirt on the, on on the Dallas PD that would make them so scared that they would have to have this guy assassinated. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, he I, I would see why he would be hesitant to go out there and um, testify against the cops if he got niggas looking after you. So trust me, I know what I'm talking about, man. I'm sorry that, that you know, it happened the way it happened and as, as fast as it happened. But he should have kept his ass under wraps, undercover. Because what I heard, they made him they made him testify at the spur of the moment. They just say, hey, bro, come in court and just testify. Which is why he had the little Dragon Ball Z shirt on. Because they say they just drag a nigga out the street and just put him in court. He didn't have time to get, get a suit and tie or nothing on. So yeah, you know, he was a street guy. And I made a video saying he, because, you know, certain photographs of the guy of um joshua uh, brown look good the picture i got is in my facebook page is him with the um in with like it's not a morehouse sweater but some kind of college um sweater on and he got his little baby boy or girl i can't tell you know baby so young in his lap with the little cheeks and all of that so i'm like you know it's a cute picture the dude looked like up you know standing citizen or whatever so i made the mistake of finding that video that i linked to the beginning of this video and I'm, I'm not saying that he deserved to die at all, but, you know, he should have just left left his lifestyle where it was at. You know what I'm saying now? When God give you a warning shot, you heed that warning. Um, That's all I got to say about this, man. I'm looking, I'm doing different content starting tomorrow. I'm not, you know, addressing this type of stuff anymore. Anyway, guys, uh, hit like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe to the channel, just know ahead of time, I'm not pro-black. I'm not a coon. I'm not a Republican. I'm, not, I'm just a dude who talks about shit and it's my channel and my opinion. So be careful when you subscribe to this channel. Number two, uh, if you do subscribe to the channel, um, hit the alert bell and bookmark the page because YouTube is suppressing my views because of my views. Okay. Holla back.